let, let me ask you this question. What is Kampyo? I don't know. <laughs> what is it? Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carrie. This channel is all about Hawaii food and family. And first of all, I want to say happy holidays to everybody. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I wanted to also share that Grandma recently has passed and I know many of you started watching this channel because of her and grandpa and because of their recipes and so I just wanted to first of all say thank you and I wanted to wait to to share this message until my uncles and my mom were able to be a part of this video as well so I think we all just wanted to say thank you so much for your support and for um, watching her videos and helping us keep this memory of my grandparents alive and well. So today we're going to be making maki zushi together as a family. It is Christmas Eve um, when we're filming this video. So we're going to be making this for our family gathering. So stick around and keep watching. Right, we're getting ready for our sushi, maki sushi making. And so Uncle Benji is just going to prepare the tuna. And so he is just going to do one part shoyu, one part sugar. Mm -hmm. For this and one? So it'll be two well, tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of sugar. And two. one tablespoon of water. No? You can add, yeah, add, add a little we'll see. water. Okay, okay. And, and then mom is uh, making a kampio. And what did you put in here so far? I put in um, a little over a quarter cup of water. Uh, eight, uh, I'm sorry, a little over a quarter cup of water, okay. a quarter cup of sugar, and a quarter cup of um, sugar. So we'll put all of this in the description box yeah. as well. Yeah. And uh, just so you know, we're just kind of winging this one. We're winging this one. Yeah. This is kind of an unusual tablespoon. Actually, I just realized that. Yeah. <laughs> it's very flat. It's very it's very is it like this? You want to go then to mix it first? Okay, that'd be great. Yeah. So the yeah. five things that we're going to be putting in our maki sushi today are egg, cucumber, carrots, kampio, and tuna and all of you know auntie claire if you don't this is auntie claire wife of warren <laughs> so the reason why i thought to make or maki zushi for tonight's christmas eve dinner is because grandma really likes maki zushi and this is a dish that i think that she made would you say she did she make this for you often growing up um I guess so, not really, really often, but... I On special so. occasions. Yeah, 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 special occasions, yeah. And I also thought, because the family's coming over and it's going to get crazy in a little while because everybody's here, um, that this is a good dish to do together as a family. So it's definitely a family um, dish if people want to participate. So. Started with two tablespoons uh, shoyu and two tablespoons sugar and one tablespoon water. But Claire said it's not dark enough. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> and, and it's not dry enough. enough. So, and it's not dry enough. So I have to put in some more, one more tablespoon of sugar and one more tablespoon of sugar. Oh, okay. And then we'll see where it goes. And we're only going by color. Sometimes yeah. it's about, I mean, in Grandma's last video, yeah. I mean, we made a maki sushi video about eight years ago, I want to say. And so sometimes, one thing I do remember Grandma saying is it's about the color of the, the tuna. Like, it's all about the color, the kala. She's kala. I don't really know how it should be done, but I just go based on what I'm used to eating in uh, sushi. And to me, this does not look that because it's not translucent color. But this look, this part here looks more done because it's translucent. Um, I think what we have to make sure when we start cooking the kampyo is not to have it in a little pot because it doesn't give it room to stretch out and cook even. Yes. Uh, you can't what? stretch out at all. So, oh, so oh, like I was going to just try one. Let, let's just try one. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is great. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are you arguing on film? <laughs> Why are you going to try it? Because we want to see if it's soft enough. Because it's been cooking for over a half an hour. I know, but it was cooking in the itty bitty little pot. Why did you guys try it? it? Okay, go ahead and try it. Yeah, try it. it. Yeah, I'll you. Why did you guys try it? She's going to cut off the only part that's cooked. Okay, well, so where what part is not cooked? I mean, I need a chopstick. Why can't you use those tofu? So, which one is not cooked there? I don't think this is cooked. Mom, what is kapio? Um, I believe it is a gourd. Well, that means it's not. Uh, I lost my beard. 
Get the same tip, get the same area. You guys always got along with the sister in law. Of course. Of course. That was the only one she had for a while. Here. Okay. It's hot. Okay. See how she told me it was hot. Is it cool? Mm. Thank you. So how long have I known you? Um, and how, how many, many years have you? Yeah, known how you? many years have I told you? Do not put the cover down. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I put it down, I think about it. Turn it off. How can you forget? You've known me for many years. No, no fighting. <laughs> Okay, it's actually cooked. It's a, it's yeah, and if you cook it too much, it's gonna be like too soft and mushy. Yes, yeah, that's mushy. why it's, it's very good. important when you start to get the right size pan. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's one thing that we should, we should uh, let the viewers. Well, since we've never made this before on our own, actually, mom was always here. Well, but did she? What size pan did she use? I do not remember, Claire. That's not in my memory. I, I just remember her cooking. Anything why I ask for the covers or any cover that's taken off a pot to be turned up like this is when you put it down like that all the food and all the you shift down wherever it is this way it's a little tough to turn over but you don't have a mess of course there's no food in there so after everything was prepared we started making sushi and here my cousin Ali and my cousin Billy along with my mom started to roll the sushi and I'll put in the description box uh, the recipe to the sushi rice that we used. But we also here have the kampyo, we have cucumber, shredded carrot, takuwan, which is pickled radish, and we also have tamago or egg. And of course, the shoyu sugar tuna that my uncle B made. In Japanese tradition, it is important to use an odd number of ingredients so you can put one thing three things or five ingredients in the sushi our sushi rice came out a little stickier than we would have liked but we still used it and made the best of it and it still tasted delicious when we would come here to play Hanafura even though she was um, you know her mentally she was declining um, when we play Hanafura with her, I don't, I'm still a novice, so I didn't know what the yakus were and we had to look at the cards to tell us what is the yaku. And then, um, thank you. Well, I'm just and worried then, the rice will get a little oh, okay. soggy. So then, um, uh, this one? Yes. So then, we would look at her and then at the end of the game she would go, Oh, you have yaku and you have yaku, like that. So she'd be like that and so she'd be telling us we had yaku even though she, you know, she was a hundred already. Yeah. She still knew so, it, yeah? Cool. yeah. Well, they didn't forget. Cool. I mean, yeah. it's amazing that, you know, those that, uh, even at our adult daycare, mm -hmm. they have memory dementia, mm -hmm. but they play Hanafuda individually. And they know. Yeah, yeah. and they know, and they play they the Yaku. Don't forget it, yeah. yeah what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna pick up your edge, um, and you wanna go and eat it, like, <laughs> pull, pull this up, don't be afraid, like for Kathy do. Um, don't be afraid. And, uh, Hold it. Yeah, hold it. Yep. And I'm gonna try and hit there. Okay. And right there and now squeeze it. All the way around. Squeeze here and then squeeze in the middle. Okay, right. and take this off. And then roll it. Roll it all, all the way out. Put this hand right over here. And okay, go. And like that? Yeah, just take it out. Oh, okay. Okay, take it off. Okay, yeah. Yay, good job. You did <laughs> Thank it. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Honestly, because it was Christmas Eve, the house was very, very chaotic with our family around, which was awesome. It just, it was very loud and there was just a lot going on. But what was really nice was that all the generations took part in making sushi. And I just love this video of my auntie helping my niece Maya learning how to make, to roll sushi. Uh, because these are the things that as our generation gets older and their generation gets older, these skills can pass down to the next generation, which is really, really nice to see. Oh, 
And here are the final products. So, since I mentioned that there was a lot going on, I decided to also share with you what some of my other family was making. And here, my cousin Billy is making some Alonzo steak, which is come, which already comes pre-marinated, and he's just grilling it up on the grill. And as we head back into the house, let's see what Uncle Warren is whipping up in the kitchen. Today I am with Uncle Warren. Hello. Hi. Many nice of you have seen him on the channel before and he's made so many wonderful dishes here. But today, tonight he is making, what are you making for us? Tonight I'm gonna make something called Tamiko Spare Ribs. What makes it um, um, Actually, I got this recipe from Auntie Diane Oka. Okay. It was in California. Uh -huh. Her friend, Tamiko. I guess has a very easy, easy spare ribs recipe, so gave it to me, so I'm sharing it today. So it's not from Auntie Diane, from her friend. From Auntie Diane's very, friend. It's very easy. All right, so what do we have to do? Never made it before. So all it calls for is juice of one lemon. So I'll put everything lemon in here. And the, this, the pot Please is already on, as, yeah? Yeah, I, I turned it on low, I hope. Yes. Because I, I don't want to... So it's uh, juice of one lemon. Okay. You're supposed to wash your hands first, I which I did. I okay. Phew. Doctor. Doctor. I wash my hands. Let me make sure I get all the juice. You're putting the in lemon here. inside it too? No. I'm going oh, to okay. I just dropped it and it. just trying to get all the lemon juice out. Juice on and the where did you one. go to get your the spare ribs? Oh, I went to Time Supermarket Times. because the nice thing about Time Supermarket, they already... Um, They've already kind of split. Uh, you'll see it's not a whole slab. It's split down the down the side, so okay. that makes it a little bit easier. Spoon. So one cup of brown sugar. Okay. Who stole my chili paste? Or oh. right over there. A lot going and, on here. Uh, one bottle of uh, Heinz chili sauce. The whole bottle? This is what wow. I've never made it before. Yes. That's what the recipe says. I one whole bottle her. of Heinz chili sauce. But you make spare ribs so, a lot, I feel, yeah? Like, I mean, you're... Uh, yeah, but I don't... Well, mostly when they come over here, you know. Oh, like Because actually, at home, people like... Um, my family doesn't actually eat that much spare ribs. Mm -hmm. I like it. I love it. They're okay with it. So... It's a nice party dish, though. Okay, it's not very... I'll, I'll save it. I'll let it... So all you really gotta do is make sure the brown sugar has dissolved. Okay. Now we're heating it on low. <clears throat> here. So. Because so the reason this so it, I lined this uh, aluminum pan. Yes. Uh, I score these ribs so you can see that Times has already cut it down. There's a little silvery back that I peeled off. Okay. That's, um, oh, you have to like take off the. You have to take out the skin or something. Yeah, off the back oh. of it. You take off some of the fat off the back. I see. Then you. Uh, this one is almost all meat. It's oh, end cut, nice. so it's nice. So would Grandpa this make this kind of dish? No, experiment? Grandpa didn't really make this that much. Mm. Ooh, I left some of this. Well, I'll, we'll get it out. Anyway. Okay. So, so all we do is this is going to here. Then we're going to baste this on. Okay. How long? Yeah. Do you, how long? Do so you then it's going to go in the oven for 45 minutes. Oh, okay. And then after 45 minutes, I'm going to take it out, pour off the fat. Let me hold the spoon. I'm going to pour off the fat and turn it over and baste it again. And then uh, another 45 minutes. So it's going to be in the oven for at least an hour and a half. Oh, wow. It's very simple. Yeah. So. If you're new to cooking, then this would be a good dish. Yeah. For you. Yeah. Very. Well, you have to be able to, First, like, have to taste take it off. And see if I like That's it. true. But you have to be able to take off the skin, too, right? Mm hmm. So. If but you leave it on, then what? Then it won't be as no, flavorful. No, I mean, it'll still be, it'll still be okay, but there is, you want it off just so the flavor will get to the inside of the rib for 45 minutes. Okay, after the first 45 minutes, I took this out of the oven. I poured out the liquid that had come out of the meat. I turned it over, and I'm just going to baste this again with the uh, barbecue sauce, same barbecue sauce that I had. Okay. And then I'm gonna put it back in the oven for another 45 minutes. Maybe, um, depend, you know, I still have a lot of barbecue sauce, so I might 
Maybe I'll do it again. We'll see. Mm -hmm. So the flavor will be on the on the um, ribs. Okay. Did you cut it like that? Very simple. Yes, I, I, I did. Auntie Claire asked if you cut it like how Auntie Diane yeah. said. So what does just, that mean? I what just put mean? little slices in between the ribs to let the flavor soak in. Oh, that's, that must be an important part because the flavor has to... Yeah. It would help. Okay. Okay. Okay, how is your how is your spare rib? Mmm. Well, actually, I just ate the meat dead belly. Uh, that was really good. Very good for us. This is spare rib. Okay, how do you think I it turned had, out? I already had one, so. Oh, huh. very tender. Oh. Mmm. Good. Would you Sweet. recommend this recipe? Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Very good. Mm hmm. Very good. Okay. And very, very easy. And not too messy. Not too messy. I would recommend it. Oh, you had one already? Yeah, very oh. good. Very good. Yeah, it tastes good and it's soft. Ah, mm. all right. Great. How's the, can you try the spare rib? Mm. I'm about to. Okay. Okay. This is my first test. Of that new recipe spirit. The sauce is tangy and flavorful. The meat gives you enough chewiness, but it's not too tough. It's not fall off the bone, but it's just soft. So. It tastes like, good. Like the worst deal. I would like a little more sauce on my meat. Oh, Uncle Warren. That's true. That's true. Good job. Good job. Sorry. Okay, so we have for dinner, we have our sushi. Oh, we have almost gone sushi, huh? I just need to put some sauce on my meat. Oh, okay. Here, say that. Yeah, I just need to add some sauce on my meat. Ah. You didn't want to be a doctor. Owen, are you, are you timing my ham? Owen, are you so timing the ham? So we have sushi. We have some somen salad, which is already gone. We have ribs, some chicken, some steak, some spaghetti. Is that what this is? Spaghetti? And some kugel. And that's our dinner tonight. And there's ham that's in And there's ham that's in the oven. I just try to wrap it so it doesn't stick and I use a dry parchment paper. And I'm really just really wrapping it up and then trying to tuck it aside. Seal it. So this, so this is because we have sushi. We made sushi. Mother said we will cut some more. And I said, oh, I think this is good. Yeah. So we're going to have to make it easy. I was just going to make it easy. Oh, I got it. Oh, it's Oh, yes. well, we're playing white elephant, adult version. I think it's it's all a matter of perspective because some people may love crochet. Some people like dental cactus. I hope all of you had a great start to 2023. If you are still watching, please keep watching as we pay tribute to my grandma who passed away recently and she was a hundred years old. What a legacy to remember. Just to take a time out. I wasn't prepared for this.
We <laughs> seven girls and one, two boys, and I was the last one. And I uh, still remember their names. Tatsu Nesan, Rumiko Nesan, Sumio Nesan, Chizuka Nesan, Itsu Nesan, and Tsuru Nesan, and Kotono Nesan, Fusai Nesan, and then me. Kenji. You're the youngest, yeah. Yeah, I'm the youngest. Yeah. We're in the mountains, and we moved to a, town, a place called Kilao. The plantation gave us a home. Yeah. Then from there, we went to Hilo and opened a restaurant. My dad opened a restaurant called Tsurunoya Inn. Never made it, so we went back to the plantation. And you came back to Papaloa and married to our Haru Samamoto. And uh, you opened a barber shop there across the street. This is my old barber shop. Grandma's barber shop was conveniently located right across the street from her house. When we were on the plantation, she worked at the um, um, barber shop, which was right across the street from our house. So I remember the one time just looking over from the porch, you could see into the barber shop. And she was um, cutting someone's hair and smiling and talking and you could see that she was just enjoying um, just enjoying the moment. What year you can left from here? Service? 1940. Yeah, 46. I was cutting here already. I, I had my own already that time. My father forced me to say, don't buy to be lucky. I can use it to support the children. Because back then the opportunities were limited. Yeah. Either work for the plantation or you do something else. Yeah. yeah. You think you think he was right? Yeah. He was right. Yeah, yeah, he was right. I I have what you supposed to work just by working. Uh, you helped me to have like a uh, a guide throughout much of my life. Uh, the, the way that you spoke, the way that you behaved, um, how you raised our family. That in many ways has taught me so much about um, what I can do to raise our children and our grandchildren. For her perseverance, you know, she she doesn't give up. Maybe I have to stop here. Why do we make the fish on New Year? That's a tradition. Yeah, that's what they do. You can eat only New Year time. Like that. How come? That is, that's a tradition, I guess. But some people, they don't do this. They just uh, steam them like that. But this is the style, actually. Holding this style. I can steam them too. But I want to make a whole thing like Cook small now. Oh. So I don't bother. He makes a taste, uh, but when I cook, he said, good, this. <laughs> so how long does it take you to make one scrubby? Oh, if I continue to make, uh, it will about five, five minutes. Size, okay, needle. Daddy, how come you are? Oh, I can't help. Look at that. I'm not machine, you know. Hard, but I remember how much she loved obon season time and so she would wear her kimono you know she would put on the kimono and the obi and she knew how to put it on You know, you work very, very hard yeah. to support uh, Warren and Gail and Warren and Owen and Benji. Mm -hmm. And you folks send them all to college and they work very hard. So you deserve to live to a hundred. <laughs> Harder. <laughs> <laughs> now help 
you know, you've done a good job. Uh, you know, so kids, right? A lot of kids uh, turned out very well, uh, and of course the grandkids have turned out really well too, and uh, great grandchildren coming along. So um, that's the, kind of like the main thing I want to say. Is that she's done a great job. Uh, you know, her and dad both, of course. You know, raising a really good family and raising kids that uh, have. Uh, you know, come along and really good, good values and good morals, and again, raising great families of their own too. So, all of my brothers have said thank you, but you know, Mom, I think <clears throat> it's really been a privilege to take care. Of. Thank you for all of the lessons that you've given us. I think we should do it again. Was it a good year? No, it wasn't too good. Why? I got sick, that's why. I was sick all the time. And now you're, you yeah, but better. now you're yeah. better. You're, you're better now, right? Oh, some better. Huh? Some better for banana again. We get plenty of banana. No, I don't. I'm going to make pancakes, banana pancakes. Gotta too be much over banana. Right. No, but it's got to be overripe, that's huh? why. It's got to be overripe. Just, just, just try it now. Way back. I, I want the over. I want the overripe one. I don't want overripe guy. I don't want overripe guy. I want. No, I don't. I ate one. But I will put one in the pancake. Yeah, I go. 